Good evening. God bless your hearts real good. God bless your hearts. Uh, I want to get my lighting, my lighting right. Let me try something. Hold on one second. Let me try something. Well, no, they ain't going to worry. Let me turn the light on here. Get my lighting right. All right. Because it had kind of a glare. Let's see how this work out. It may be a little better, a little better. I got shadows. I just got, <clears throat> hold on, I just got my, gotta get this light right. Let's see how that went. We just going to try this, <laughs> and if it don't, you know, I'm on my tablet, I'm recording on my tablet. This is a pre-recorded message, it's 9.55, Monday evening, Monday night is 9.55. All right, God bless all of you, you on Facebook, during me. And you on YouTube, God bless you all. Jesus is coming back again. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is set back on the right hand of the Father. Jesus left His Father came down to earth and gave us commandments. Told us we must be born again. Told us to live free from the bondage of sin. Told us go and sin no more. Told us to believe him to make us righteous. Told us his blood is for the remission of our sin. Hallelujah. He died, he rose again. He's coming back again and he said be ready. For an hour you think not the son of man coming. Alright. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's 10 o'clock tonight, but I'm going to upload this video in the morning. So I will do less live because I can videotape now for Facebook and YouTube. Get your Bible, and we want to talk about the purpose of church. The purpose of church. The purpose of church. Church is not ordained, built. Church is not built. Church is not ordained. It is not ordained to teach you how to be an entrepreneur. Teach you how to own your own business. Teach you how to have a successful marriage. Church is not for that. Not to teach you how to become a millionaire. Not to teach you how to be successful in business. In your social settings. To have a big social register is not for community activism. The church is not for that. Yes, the church do all of that, but that's not the church purpose. Those are things that the church do, but that's not the purpose of the church. The church has one purpose. The church is not to give you to give you no successful life, a full life, make you so success successful in life. That's not what the church is for. 
you. Get your Bible. Now the purpose of the church, let's get this straight, is Jesus' church. The church is Jesus' church. The true church is Jesus' church. Not yours, not mine, but Jesus' church. The church is not brick. The church don't have a steeple on top. The church don't have plush carpeted pews. The church don't have a charter. The church don't have a 501c3. The church is no building down here. Now we are the church. We who are in Christ, we who have repented of our sins, we are the church. It is Jesus' church. In the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter, and the 18th verse. These are the words of Jesus. Let's start with 17. And Jesus answered and said unto Peter, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajel. Let it, let it back up to 15. Jesus said unto them, But whom do you say that I am? <laughs> Hallelujah. Who do you, who do you say that I am? Who do you say I am? You know, y'all a little careful about your pastor, your bishop, and this and this. No, but, but who do you say that I am? Not the pastor, not the rabbi, not the, the Sadducee, not the Pharisee, not the prophet, not John the Baptist. But who do you say that I am? Then Simon Peter answered, said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered, and said unto him, Let me pause there. You know, some false prophets say Jesus Christ is not the Son of the living God. They say Jesus Christ is the living God. God ain't got no Son. Uh huh. But Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus has said to him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and flesh and blood have not revealed it to thee, but my Father which is in heaven. That's who revealed it. Now you that say, Ain't no Son of God in heaven, who revealed that lie to you? Not the Father. Satan. All right. Verse 18, but I say unto you, for thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Excuse me. Jesus said his church. And I will give you keys to the kingdom. Jesus' church is the kingdom. Jesus' church is the kingdom. The members of Jesus' church are in the kingdom. I give you keys to the kingdom. The preacher got the keys to the kingdom. I give you keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The preacher got the keys to the church. The keys to the church is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ is the head of the church. That's Ephesians 5. Christ the head of the church. He made us overseers of his church. And he gave us the keys. And he said, what, whatever you loose shall be loose in him. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in him. All right. <clears throat> Go to John 18, 37. Let's get this. Let's see what these keys lock up. <laughs> oh, yeah. The keys will lock up him against you. 
Saints on 18th to December. Hallelujah. Well, I feel pretty good at 10 o'clock at night on a Monday night. Saints on 18th to December. Look at what Jesus said. Ha, 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 ha. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom world this world, uh, then would my servant fight. And I should not be delivered to the Jew, but now is my kingdom not from there. The kingdom is not in this world. The church is not on earth. Pilate said unto him, I thought king did. Jesus answered, Thou said that I am king. To this end was I born. And for this cause I came. I came into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that heareth the truth heareth my voice. Oh, you got to hear Jesus. And you got to do what Jesus said do. All right. John <coughs> John 20. St. John 20. The purpose of church. The purpose of church and the purpose of Jesus is the same thing because it's Jesus' church. Your church wasn't good enough. Jesus had to build his own. The tabernacle wasn't good enough. The Holy of the Holy wasn't good enough. The temple saw the bill wasn't good enough. Jesus had to build his own. John 20. See what to do with them keys. John 20 and 21. Then said Jesus unto them, Peace be unto you, and my Father hath sent me, so send I you. How can they hear without a preacher? How can they hear without a preacher? And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive you the Holy Ghost. Uh, you Jesus said, Receive the Holy Ghost. Okay, you need to receive the Holy Ghost. You in the church? You need to receive the Holy Ghost. Your sin forgiven. Your sin washed away. You need to receive the Holy Ghost. Pray and ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sin ye remit, they shall be, they are remitted. Remember the mission of sin? Uh, Jesus said in St. Luke 24, 47, and that repentance and remission of sin shall be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Here, John, Jesus said, whosoever says you remit, will be remitted. That means if they hear the God and obey, they will be remitted. If they hear the God and obey, if they hear the God and repent, if they hear the God and believe, Whosoever say ye, say ye remit, shall be remitted unto them. Whosoever say ye retain, it shall be retained. You ain't going to repent. Your sins ain't took it away. You still in your sin. You believe the law, you still in your sin. You continue to commit sin, you still in your sin. And we got the key right here. The word of God. Oh, that's the key. You ain't getting there. We ain't gonna tell you, you say. That's it. That's it. You got no, you ain't got nothing. Did you repent? Well, I fell out, rolled in the floor. But you ain't got nothing. Well, I'm dancing, I'm preaching. You ain't got nothing. Did you repent? Have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? Are you living holy? Are you living free from sin? If not, you ain't got nothing. I ain't gonna tell you you got nothing. No, you ain't saying. Yeah, hey. Stephen. Stephen. I've been called in the book of Acts. Seven chapter or eight chapter. Stephen or sixth chapter. Stephen told the people that did not repent. He said, you stiff necked Stiff neck, hard hearted. You do already resist the Holy Ghost. You resist the Holy Ghost. Your sins, you steal your sin. 
You don't repent, you still in sin. All right. Whosoever sin ye retain, they shall be retained. You don't believe the word of God? I'm not going to tell you, you're saved. You ain't saved. You repent and obey? Yeah, according to the keys. According to the word of God, you're saved. All right. Did you repent? All right. Now, uh, know it. Know it. We talk, we talk about Jesus' church. We ain't talking about your church. We ain't talking about our church. Everything in our church. <laughs> People who sin have not been remitted is in our church because they didn't repent. All right, Acts 20. I'll tell you what I want. Give me Timothy 1, 15. Timothy 1, 15. My God, hallelujah. Timothy 1, 15. The purpose of church. Timothy 1.15. The purpose of the church is not to, to elect a mayor and a senator and a president. The purpose of the church is not for community activism. Although we do community activism. It's not the purpose. <laughs> the, those are happenstance, sidebars, side things that we do. What I say I want to give me Timothy. Hallelujah. Timothy 1.15. My ah, God. Hallelujah. Holy God. Timothy 1.15. We talk about Jesus here. Well, I, I, I don't want that yet. Uh, 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 Peter 2.21. Peter 2.21 Peter 2.21 Well, I don't want that one yet but, alright, go to Acts <laughs> go to Acts 20, 28 Acts 20, 28 Hallelujah Acts 20, 28 If you ain't in Jesus yet, if you have not repented of your sin, you go to hell, lake of fire and brimstone if you don't repent. Ain't no sin going up in here. You need to sin remitted now. You need sin took away. Jesus' blood takes away your sin. That's 1 John 1. That's uh, Matthew 26, 26. Jesus' blood. Takes away your sin. Uh, Act 20, 28. My God. Act 20, 28. Take heed therefore unto yourself. This to, this to the overseers. And all the flock over which the Holy Ghost made you overseer. Who made you overseer? The bishop? No, it said the Holy Ghost. See, overseer means more than oversee over a building. You know, in our church, we got one overseer over a building. That's not God. Everybody who teaches the word of God and teaches the flock of God, all of them are overseers. Every last one of them that teaches the flock, the word of God, all of them are overseers. Take heed to yourself and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost made you overseer to feed the church of God. Do you feed the church of God? You're overseer. Do you feed the church of God? You're overseer. Do you feed the sheep? Do you feed the lamb? You are overseer. To feed the church of God which he had purchased with his own blood. Jesus' blood was purchased. Jesus' church was purchased with blood, not with money. But with blood. And the blood clean, the purpose of the blood is to cleanse you from your sin. Ain't no sin in Jesus' church. We are the body of Christ. We in Jesus' church. Only the righteous. 
Hallelujah. All right. Now we want to go to Timothy 1. I mean, I, I'm sorry. Peter 2.21. See the purpose of the church. Peter 2.21. For even here too were ye called, but Christ, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that we should follow his steps. The purpose of the church is to follow in Jesus' steps. Who did no sin? That means you don't do no sin. Neither would God fall found in his mouth. No God's supposed to be in your mouth. Who when he were revived, revived not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself unto him that judged him righteously. You pull you pull the father in Jesus step, follow his lead. Who did no sin, don't sin. Oh, that's the purpose of the church. Don't sin, live free from sin. All right, now go to Acts 20, 28. Praise the Lord right there. Oh, we just did that. Go to Timothy 1.15. Pray God. Hallelujah. This is a faithful saying, word of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. That's the prayer of the church, to save sinners. We give you the gospel. We give you what our overseer told us to give you. And that's the reason Jesus, our overseer, came to save sinners, to save his people from their sin. That's Matthew 121. Whosoever believes in thee baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. To save you from going to hell, fire your brimstone, and burn it forever and ever and ever. Revelation 21 and 8. Revelation chapter 20. That's why Jesus came. And, and, uh, Peter 3 and 9, I believe it is. God not willing that is your parent. God not willing that is your parent, but that also come to repentance. The purpose of the church is that you repent. Give you a message to repent. To believe on Jesus, to make you right, to make you holy. Being justified by faith and not the law. Now all the people tell you not to collect no tithes. That's over. That's the law. It's not required no more. I want we let go of the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Romans uh, 3, 2. I'm sorry. Romans 2. Excuse me. Glory to God. <laughs> Roman two. Oh, yeah, Roman three. Roman three. 28, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. You have faith in Jesus to make you righteous. Jesus Christ will make you righteous. His blood is shed for remission of your sin. The blood of Jesus cleans up from all sin. You believe him to make you righteous. He lives. He alive. That's the purpose of the church. It ain't for nothing else. That's the purpose of the church. You have to do other things, but the, the purpose is so you'll be saved. This world go in one day. You're going to die one day. The soul that sinned it shall die. That's the purpose of the church. I could go for it. We're going to leave right there. God bless you. God keep you as my prayer. Thank you, YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. God bless. Good night.